So first of all, let's define terms as base or sub-base is two different things, related but very different. A base can be either an instrument or a frequency range. For example, this is a bass instrument. It's a bass sound, whereas this is a bass frequency. So when we say the bass, we should really be clear if we're talking about the instrument or the frequency range. As it's sometimes not clear and people, as I say, use the same word to mean these two different things. The bass instrument, for example, has non-bass frequencies. I explain all about frequencies and pitch in a few videos time, explaining harmonics, pitch, frequencies, and how it all pieces it together. But what about sub-bass? I mean, what is sub-bass? You might call this a sub-bass. In this case, sub-bass as an instrument, but really a sub-bass is just a bass. There's no technical difference between a bass and a sub-bass. I mean, you might say a sub-bass has less higher frequencies in generally than a bass, but even that's unclear as you'd also call that, or in fact, you'd also call this sound a bass. It's a sub-bass because it's mostly low frequencies, and it's a bass because it's a sub-bass. A sub-bass, as you'll see in a few videos time, is really just a bass. Normally with, we well, suppose you might call it a bass with mostly low frequencies, but even so, it's, it's still very definitely a bass. This might sit more in the middle ground. still a bass note, so it's still a bass. Again, more about this in a few videos time. It's still a bass because it's a bass note with bass harmonics, bass frequencies, but is it a sub-bass? You could call it a sub-bass or not. It's really up to you and it also doesn't really matter. It's really just an argument about words. Anyway, the point here is to separate the instrument from the frequency range. And so this is a bass instrument. Whereas you might call these bass frequencies as they're on the lower half of the frequency spectrum. You might call this a sub bass instrument. Whereas the sub bass frequency range is that lowest octave between, say, 40 hertz and 80 hertz, or maybe 40 hertz to 100, 120 hertz or so. It's it's not important necessarily exactly what the range is, but rather the lowest octave and a half or so. That's the sub bass frequency range. And that's how I generally use the term sub bass. As I explained in a few videos, time the sub bass is a component of the bass. And that's how I generally use the term. So when I refer to the sub bass, usually I mean the fundamental frequency of the bass. So it's not clear from context. If I use the word sub bass, I generally mean the frequency range. And more specifically, I mean the fundamental frequency of the bass. If any of that's confusing, I promise you it will fit together. Just wait for the video about frequencies and harmonics. As I explain what frequencies are, what harmonics are, what pitch is, and how it all fits together. So watch out for that video. Thanks for watching.